Recursion 1 All Star. Given a string, compute recursively a new string where all the adjacent characters are now separated by a asterisk. Okay, so here, um, let's go over the sample cases first. So the first case is hello. Um, so if we separate all the adjacent characters by asterisk, then we will get like this. Similarly, if we apply the same concept to the following strings, we will get this and this. Okay, so how can we compute this recursively? So one way we can think about this is by is by um, splitting the array constantly and just handling whatever is, um, we have right in front of us. So what do I mean by that? So for example, let's say we have, um, I'll work with ABC for example. So ABC, if, we, if the parameter is ABC, then we can just start with the first character. We know that we have to separate the first character with the rest of the characters by an asterisk. So here we will just, we will um, start with this, by, and um, which will be separating A, the first character, by the rest with an asterisk as um, suggested, and then we'll, we will continue forward with um, the rest of the string. I apologize for these glitches. Okay, so next we have BC. Again, we separate the first character off with an asterisk. And we continue forward. Here we have C. C is one character, so there is no adjacent characters that we have to separate um, C with um, through an asterisk, so we can just return C. Okay, so let's implement that. So if the current string that we have um, is length less than or equal to 1, then we can return str, because we know that there is no, no um, string that we need to separate it off of. This is the case um, that this is looking for. Next, we will just separate the first character. Um, we will get the first character. And we will separate it off um, from the rest of the string by an asterisk. And then we will return whatever happens with the rest of the string. And as you can see, this should work actually. Hmm. So there's a stack overflow error. So linked str. Oh, of course, we need to, um, the string that we are continuing forward with is a string without the first character. And there it is.